get in, into a boat, crossed to the other side, came to his own town, amen, Capirium, and behold, they brought to him a man paralyzed and prostrated by illness, lying, amen, on a sleeping pad. And when Jesus saw their faith, so they had faith, the man is sick, pay attention now, pay attention to this move. Who have faith? Amen. They have faith? No, uh-uh. Oh. The people have faith, Amen. the man is what? Sick. <laughs> I want to show you the power of your faith now. They have faith, the man is sick. Are you listening? Yes. He said, Amen, to the paralyzed man, take courage, son. What did he call him? Son. Who is he made Who image? I love when Jesus does this. I know you feel dumb and you're locked. I know you feel dumb and hot. I know they tell you you're nothing. I know they tell you you can't do nothing. I know they tell you you're good for nothing. I know they tell you you have no attribute. I know they tell you you'll come to nothing. I know they tell you you have no substance. There's nothing significant. I know the enemy been lying to you from in the womb. Mm. But I say, son, have courage. I love that about it. You know what I mean? Son, before you even go, tell him, give him direction. You got to get the identity up right. properly. You are like me. You have my attribute. This can't keep you down. This path, being paralyzed, can't hold you. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Amen. You see, when I go to my boys, what's going on? Before I even acknowledge, son, how are you? We got to get, the, we gotta get the, con the connection, the identity first. Satan comes the opposite. Before he even tell you anything, you're stupid, you're nothing. Why does he have to put you down right away? He must get you to look away from what? The attributes. Yes, yes. Are you listening? Yes. I want to catch a principle today. Amen. Can I give you a principle of righteousness? Amen. Before he want, you see, he can't discredit you or get his way with you unless he gets you to look away from what? The image, the nature, the attribute. Are you listening to me? <laughs> Once you don't believe you're made in the image of God, and you don't have God attribute, and the worst part, Matthew 5, 48, say you are measured that way. Mm -hmm. Then you have lost the game before you even what? Begin. Begin. Because you don't believe you have the what? Capability. <laughs> you see, you think Satan approaches you that way? No, no. <laughs> he approaches you to define you. Not to tell you. He will never come. Aren't you God's son? Aren't you out of no way, son? Amen? You think he'll approach you that way? Aren't you made in God's image? You think, you think he'll approach you that way? <laughs> Can you imagine the standard and how that'll, you know, jolt you back into getting to your right senses? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't approach you that way. He approached you this way. You are a loser because you do this just like the other losers. <laughs> and you identify, yes, we are all losers. Yeah. And you force yourself into producing what? All the attributes of a loser. This is why he's called what? A liar. He's all the Bible said his native language, it means his natural language is to what? Lie. And he's called a murderer. What is it he's murdering? Your nature, your abilities, your attributes. Your projection, Amen. your capability, your capacity. Hallelujah. And you understand what I'm saying? From the time he, he you understand? He misidentified you, the murder began. Mm -hmm. And he's called a thief. Why? He thief all the potential. He don't take it from you. He, he stop it from coming what? Fort. In a way he has taken. Because he don't have to worry about it after that. Jesus addressed the man. He said to the paralyzed man, take courage, son. Let me tell you who you are. You're my son. Your sins are forgiven and the penalty remitted. This is how Jesus addressed the issue. Identification, deal with the problem. Now let's read this a little bit more. And behold, some of the scribe said to themselves, this man blasphemous. He claims rights. He has attributes like God. He's behaving like he's God. Are you listening to me now? How dare him? Amen? You see? 
and pre, you see, prerogative of God is taking God position. Amen. But Jesus, knowing, seeing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil? Amen. And harbor malice in your heart. Notice, they're thinking what? Evil. Go, Why do you think evil? Yeah. And getting all upset inside. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now look, look closely again. For which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven. Amen. And your penalty remitted. Or to say, get up and walk. Mm -hmm. you know, isn't it simple? <laughs> you know, why, why are you getting there making this thing more than it is? You see, Satan get in and go, hey, if they learn this principle, I have issues. I need them to get upset. I need them to hold malice. Mm -hmm. uh, are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Jesus asked them, which one? But in order that you may know, amen, that the Son of Man has a has what? Authority on earth to forgive sin, amen, and remit the penalty. He then said to the paralyzed man, get up, pick up your sleeping pad, and go to your house. <laughs> now pay attention to yourself. I want you to understand that the Son of Made from a man has authority to forgive sin. Now pay close attention. He acknowledged a man as son, he forgave him from his sin. And he wanted them to know that man has it. Pay close attention. Close attention. You who have the attribute of the Father. Say, I have the attribute of the Father. I have the attribute of the Father. I'm a son. I'm a daughter of God. With the attributes of God. Say, there's more. A lot more. Say, I'm on my way. I'm not as strong as effective as my Father yet. But he's working on me. Are you listening to me? The Bible said in Ephesians, we all have to meet the what? The height and the stature. We are going to be measured at that level. I want you to read verse 8 with me. Verse 8 with me together, shall we? When the crowd saw it, they were struck with fear and awe. And they what? And they what? What was I talking about earlier? You have to recognize. You understand? Then you have to what? Praise. So they saw and they what? Recognize. Pay close attention now. Let's do it together. So they, amen? And they recognize. So the Bible says, when the crowd saw it, they were struck with fear and awe. And they what? Recognize God and what? Praise Him. So as soon as you recognize God is manifested, what you must do? Praise Him. Can you follow? I'm telling you it's why some of you are not operating in blessing. You don't know how to catch it. You must what? Recognize. And then you must what? Praise. praise. God is a strange being. More you recognize him and praise, more you show himself. But notice, earlier, the people, should, the Pharisees should have done the same thing. They recognized Christ and healed the man. What should they have done? Praise. But the devil infiltrate, penetrate immediately. Yes. When God do an awesome work, what does the devil start to do? Criticize and bear malice and condemn. Because he recognized the people will leave him. Oh. If. I can't. There was a chance for them to recognize and praise. To operate in the realms of what? Surround blessing. But they start thinking what? Nice. Evil. Look this man using God technique. Is there another technique he should use? <laughs> should I be surprised or anyone should be surprised when my sons act like what? Me. Should we be surprised what Jesus was doing? Are you listening to me? What is amazing is when you're not doing what Jesus is doing. This means your thinking is still infected. Are you listening to me? This means you're, you're, you're not seeing properly yet. You're not recognizing. So they recognize and they praise and thank him. Thank God. Now pay close attention. We're coming home now. Recognize and praise him. The last little piece there. Now look, look what's going on. Who had given such a power and authority to who? Amen. I think I should stop preaching for today. It's Whoa. done. Who has all the power and authority gifted? Amen. Who can tell the paralyzed man to get up? Who did Paul? Who, was it Paul who did it? Yes. Was it Peter who did it? Yes. Was it the disciples? What? Why can they do it? God had gave the authority and the power to what? 
You don't mind most, so you don't see the authority and power. You're still thinking evil. Mm, don't recognize. Do you know when you do not recognize God and give him praise, that's considered evil? Mm. Do you realize this? Oh, do you know the enemy understand this principle? You speak against God, love and kindness and mercy, and you speak against the authority and power you've given what? To men in your thoughts. Are you listening to me? Sometimes I'm struggling in one way, whether it's in my body or whatsoever. But I always thank God the Lord. Let me recognize the blessing so I can give you a praise. Amen. So I can exercise the authority and power. Amen. Satan, I was going, as soon as he sees you, start to say, but what about this part? This part doesn't work. Mm -hmm. He wants you to speak what? Against God. He don't want God to get anyone. Praise. These people saw something. They recognized it. They praise it. Can you see the principle? Yeah. And then they thank God to give in man so much power and what? Authority. Look at somebody deep in the eyes and go, I know you have power and authority from Jesus. I know, I know you have power and authority from Jesus. I know. You see, this changed my expectation of you. You can't imagine the kind of expectation I have of you. I don't allow you to play small. I don't allow you to think evil. You're going to have a rough time with me doing that. Because I won't accept it. How can I get behind me, Satan? Get behind me, Satan. Satan is speaking through you right now. I know it. Can you recognize it and praise it? I can tell. I know it. I want to catch you recognizing and praising. I'll do a dance with you. I go, may I join to praise with you? Can we do a dance together? Can we, because of what we just recognize, can we stand in awe of Jesus? Can we do it together? You will find I'm calling you. I'm worshiping with you. We do a dance together. We just do a dance. We just do a dance. We just do a dance. Are you listening to me? You got the Lord to recognize. You got the Lord to praise. You have to know you have power and authority was given to men. Do you understand why Satan's so upset? You have been given all the authority and all the power through Jesus. He don't like you. He was around before you. You are a young sibling. He's a whole one. He's like, look, I might have rebelled. But they also, why should they get it? You think if you learn to catch this trick, you'll operate in the realms of surround blasting? You have to understand these principles. Most of the time when we deal with something, Satan is going, he's laughing. <laughs> They're still mine. Don't you redeem them, they think like me. Don't recognize, don't praise, do not understand or believe they have power and authority. Therefore, they never operate in the realms of what? Surround blessing. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Look at somebody say, I'm raising my standard. I'm raising my standard. Say, expect me, expect me. to have a higher standard. Uh, standard. To recognize, to recognize the, works of God. the works of God. To praise Him. To, praise to, believe. to believe. And to walk, and to walk. In, the in the authority. And the power, and the power. that He has given unto me. To do as well. Are you listening to me? Part of the enemy to have a chance. In the moment. There are things to recognize about God. And there are things to complain. This was God challenges Israel. Israel can always complain about what they are. You understand? It's before it. But they never see it. Only Joshua and Caleb. Go, those people are big. Maybe. But we have God what? With us. Can, can you see the different attitude? Hallelujah. The Bible calls it a different spirit, small f, different attitude. <laughs> Same situation. Sees it what? God go, I love these two. They are going to operate in my power and my authority. In Jesus' name. The, the people there recognize this. They go, what an awesome thing. Amen. Who has given such power and authority to man? Are you listening to me? You see, Jesus could have come in the fullness of God's burning bush or something. 
then you're going to excuse yourself and go, but I'm going to eat in the Antarctic. But no, 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 no. It's been given unto you. I used to have certain expectation of myself. They have radically changed. What I expect to do and come out of me, compared to where I was, it's like a billion times turn around. The things I expect to do in this life and to come out of me, the, the shift I have to make in my, through the Spirit of God in my mind is so radical, you can hardly believe it. First, I have to get my, my identity fixed. Like, okay, I, what is this to have the attribute of God? What's in me? And this will dictate what I can do. Then I have to understand, you understand? God's expectation. And then I have to understand what He gives to me, the authority and the power. Then I need the inspiration and the passion to do it. We are going to operate in the realms of surround blessing. You must. You must. You need to change how you see yourself and how you see things. Amen. Yeah. I don't care typically what's going on. What I'm always looking for is what? The blessing. Like, Father, I need something to praise you. I love how you think. Amen. You, you know when you start praising, I come. I mean, I love to inhabit what? The praise. Oh, yeah. Amen. There's always something to praise. Satan have a similar technique. There's always something to complain what? about. Mm. Amen? The more you complain, the farther God will move. Ask Israel. I recognize that praise. I recognize that praise. This is wisdom. You listen. You listen. You listen. You listen. I recognize that praise. I recognize that praise. I recognize that praise. I recognize that praise. It's wisdom. Brilliance. Brilliance. Amen? Amen? The mouths of the fool. Go, I recognize I complain. I recognize I complain. I recognize I complain. <laughs> Wisdom. Wisdom. One is a fool. God, one takes you out of position. One place you are into position. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Satan is stupid. The Bible says this game. Children can play it. Children get it. Mm. Are you listening to me? But to the wise, they complain. You see, let me teach you a trick. God present can fix everything. So what you're after is his present. If you're complaining, you won't get the present. Then you can't fix what? Nothing. If you recognize and praise, it's not the problem in there. I'm not talking about naivety here. I'm, I'm telling you, recognize the problem. But know how to fix it. To fix it is to get the present. To get the present, you have to recognize and praise. Are you complaining? Moves him away, which means you can't fix what. The the <laughs> Can you follow me now, church? Yeah. Read, I don't recognize God's glory and give him his due praise. Mm. If I said the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, mm. I realize there's lots of problem in the hurt and lots in my life, so I need God's what present consistently all the time. Yeah. So, then you have to praise so I have no choice but to recognize and praise. I get Let me tell you. You want to see me get afraid? Let me forget the recognizing phrase. Yeah, first thing. First thing.